Okay, you guys, so I am going to review Hungry Man Double Chicken Bowls. First time ever had it. Um, I haven't even had any kind of Hungry Man deal for probably like 20 years. So anyway, I opened it up, put it in the microwave, and this is what we got. Let me see, Chicken Bacon Ranch. Two grilled chicken patties, plus ranch, mashed potatoes, bacon, and cheddar cheese. And this, of course, is only one of their flavors of um, the chicken bowls. Um, so, basically what I said from the front. Savory ranch seasoned potatoes, tender chicken. So hearty, you need a knife. Well, that's not hard to figure out, right? <laughs> okay. Um. So, now, they kind of got me with this. Um, because, first of all, it took a while to cook, you know, for pitting something in a microwave. Um, I didn't expect quite as long of a cooking time. They, they suggest you cook it for... Four and a half minutes in the microwave without venting the film that was over it. So you leave the film on the top um, and cook that for four and a half minutes. And then you take the film off and stir the potatoes. And then you put it back into the microwave for another three to four minutes. So yeah, I was kind of like, that's, I expected just... Put it in the microwave, maybe two, three minutes, and take it out, done. Well, it's a little more involved than that. So, the way it came, kind of like, the potatoes was in the middle, and then the chicken was, like, on each side of the potatoes, right? So, after I cooked it for the first, I didn't cook it for four and a half minutes, the first part, like they suggest, I cooked it for only four minutes. So after cooking it for the first four minutes, then I just kind of lifted the chicken off of the potatoes. Um, the potatoes were still frozen in the middle a little bit. But then I felt like, okay, they're suggesting cooking it for another three to four minutes. And I really felt like that would really overcook the potatoes to cook it that long additionally. But then it felt like the chicken maybe did need to be cooked for maybe that long or at least longer than the, pota the potatoes on the second go. So I didn't like that. I, it felt uneven to me. It felt like if I cook it an additional three to four minutes, the potatoes could be overcooked. Yeah, the potatoes could be overcooked. The chicken might be fully cooked at that point, but that it had left the potatoes for too long. So I kind of tried to cover the potatoes with the chicken so the potatoes would not maybe overcook and then do the second run of two minutes. They say a second run of three to four. I chose to do a second run of two minutes. So this is what it is. Technically, this is six minutes of cooking, four minutes for the first half, then two minutes for my second half. I don't really like that it's in this cardboard. I've eaten things out of cardboard like this, but it usually would be kind of like rice and stuff. I don't like the idea of eating my mashed potatoes out of this kind of cardboard. But it is what it is, right? It makes me feel like I'm going to just get this cardboard taste. And, yeah. So, yeah, that's not my cup of tea. I guess if maybe you were buying this, like, to have at your lunch break at work, hey, maybe it works, whatever. So, let's see here. I don't know how much, guys, you can see. I try to, like, I like to try to leave everything out as I'm tasting so you guys can see but I don't know how much you can see so let me cut into the chicken see how done it is and all of that and let's see there it looks okay let's do this all right let me taste the chicken it 
It tastes done. It doesn't taste like real chicken. It doesn't taste like real chicken, you guys. Um, yeah, definitely does not. I don't know what else to say about that. I'm <laughs> just... I can't think of any other fake tasting chicken, but it does not taste like you cooked a real piece of chicken. It tastes very fake and artificial. It's juicy. Um, there's some kind of flavor going on here that I can't make out. It's not nasty, but it's not great. Let me taste the potatoes here. So, I guess that's what bacon and the potatoes. It's supposed to have cheddar cheese in there and ranch flavoring. Let me finish chewing this chicken in my mouth. I guess maybe it would take a minute to chew. Yeah, see, if this was real chicken, I would not still be chewing it. It's not, this chicken here is not really tough, but it definitely has a fake taste to it, you know. Alright, here we go with, with the potatoes. Hmm. They kind of have a nice flavor, but they taste kind of fake too. They have a slight rubbery taste which maybe possibly they could have been cooked more but I don't really think that's why I think they're fake and so they're giving off this kind of texture because they seem fake for all I know maybe they're not fake but maybe something about the way they're prepared you know I kind of hate reviews like this because <coughs> excuse me I kind of hate to <clears throat> you know, kind of gives sort of a thumbs down, you know, but yeah, it's not nasty. It really is. It's not, you know, it's not nasty, but I don't like it. I don't like how it tastes fake. The flavor is okay itself, but I would say it's more of the textures of the food. Um, the textures add to, for me, they both feel fake. Um, I would, to me for sure, definitely, the chicken even looks fake to me. Um, the potatoes, even if they're not fake, something about the way they're put together or something, just, I don't know. I'm trying to look at the ingredients here. Rehydrated potato flakes and granules. Okay, well, yeah, maybe if they take a bunch of potato flakes and try to mash them together into looking like a whole, like chunks of a whole potato, that may have a funny texture or something. Um, let me see. Roasted and cream, but it says roasted potatoes, cream, butter, buttermilk. What, what is this? Is that buttermilk powder? Yeah, I think that's buttermilk powder, sugar, whey powder, or wheat powder, however you pronounce that. Garlic, garlic powder, onion powder, cream powder, tomato powder. Oh my gosh, powder, 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 right? Sunflower oil. Uh, yes, okay, this is what I wanted to get to the chicken. Chicken breasts with rib meat. All right, I'm sure there are other people who could decipher this, you know, chicken with rib meat, like, and whatever, potato flakes, and I, I don't know. Um, it tastes fake. Look, I'm not going to sit here and act like I just eat so healthy all the time. I do eat, you know... I go back and forth. Sometimes I eat very, very healthy. Other times I eat very junk, very junky, right? So look, I'll eat stuff that maybe it's not the, be the best thing for us, but this tastes really fake to me. Um, 
I if I was hungry, I'd eat it because it's not nasty tasting. But honestly, I'd like a, a piece of chicken that tastes more like a piece of real chicken for me. I would enjoy that a lot more. Um, let me let me try these potatoes one more time. Yeah, see, there's something about when you bite into the potato chunk, it tastes weird. Something like a slight rubbery-ish or something. So, other than that, the flavor is fine. I think a lot of people might enjoy this. Like, I could see kids just eating it up and they're cool, right? <laughs> um, and maybe some other people. But for me... Yeah, I wouldn't go for this again. And there is also some kind of undertone to the flavor, like a flavor that kind of uh, aftertaste to the flavor that tastes like, I don't know, cilantro or relish or something. Something like that. cilantro -y or cilantro re or relish type re or something. It is an, it's a, it's an aftertaste. So... Look, <laughs> I don't know, you guys, your choice, right? Um, I wouldn't buy it again, but the flavor is not horrible. Um, and, you know, I pointed out the things for me that just kind of turned me off, which is the chicken, um, the chicken tastes very fake to me. And then the potatoes also take taste fake. And when you bite into the potato chunk, I get a slight rubbery-ish feeling. The flavor is okay, except it does leave an aftertaste that I'm thinking maybe cilantro -y or relish type, whatever, something. So that's the review, you guys. You know, I hate, I hate, you know, not being able to say about a review like, I really like this, but I, I just cannot say that here. Um, with I don't get, like, you know, the cardboard. It's actually kind of, it doesn't feel bad. Like, if you're eating off of this, um, it, it doesn't, like, peel away. The cardboard doesn't peel away. So, because I mentioned at the beginning of the review that I don't like that this is in the cardboard. But, they even can okay, the cardboard, it feels kind of, like, it feels a little bit different than what it looks like, right? Um, so it just doesn't, the best, <laughs> I don't want to even say waterproof, but, like, like, it just seems like it's some kind of proof that the moistness of the food doesn't eat away at the cardboard. So that's a plus, um, especially because my first impression of this stuff being in cardboard was like, uh, I don't know about that, right? But, yeah, it, it doesn't peel away with the moistness of the food. So, that's it, you guys. Um, I hope I helped you in making whatever decisions you want to make about this. Not my favorite here. But, thank you so much for watching. Hope I helped you guys. Have a wonderful day.